nothing here. It's all literally disappeared. Oh my goodness. It's all gone. It's literally all gone. Saying goodbye. Fishing up the lights. Yeah. It's Thursday. It's the end of the day. We're in the process of packing up the flat because this week and uh, early next week is pack up week. So today and tomorrow we're packing up all of the things. So we've already given away a ton of books and the team is gonna basically come in and borrow a bunch of the stuff because we're gonna be condensing down to two suitcases in preparation for my world traveling vibes. Also, we got these. This is so exciting. Feel good productivity, uncorrected proof. So this is, it's, it's a proof copy that we're gonna be sending around to like early reviewers and that sort of thing, but it's, it's cool to see it in a legit form. And yeah, that's so exciting. But now it's time to do some more packing. And then today, today's Thursday, and Thursday night is date night with the girlfriend. So I'm gonna go over to her place, we're gonna go to a restaurant, and then we'll be chilling out. And back to flat packing tomorrow as well. So that's the vibe. We'll see how it goes. You guys having fun? Um, yeah. Yeah, say hi to the vlog. Hello. What are you most excited about today? <laughs> Stealing all the funny <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Guys, say hi to the vlog. Hello. Hey. What are you most excited about today? This. Oh, I think. Um, <laughs> I have got like 10 to 15 new books for free. Um, and I probably won't read any of them. So that's, that's a good place to be. Love yeah. it. Ooh. Free chat. <laughs> I feel like a kid getting all this like new toys and I need a new chair for my my new work from home setup. I just filmed a handful of book themed ads, which is the last thing I'm filming in the studio, and also a bunch of podcast intros. So now Becky is now taking down everything and is gonna be taking this desk home. It's got Becky's name on it. And Gareth is gonna be taking this one. It's all very exciting. And now my job is to get the suitcase and to pack what's gonna be the remote filming setup. And that's all gonna go into a box. And then we're gonna give everything away to the rest of the team. So let's do it. How are you guys doing? Oh, good. Yeah. Very chill. Oh, Connect the evidence. <laughs> but there's a lid. Oh, okay. It's just getting out of that door. Oh, easy. I don't know if yeah, yeah, easy. It'll it's happen. So narrow. That's not going to go like that. Isn't that uh, you can put it at the top and put it through that thing. Do you have any idea how heavy it is? <laughs> Do you need a hand? Did you, did you reverse and then I will go for it? I don't have the key. Pivot! <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you can go forward if you need to. Bye, Zaf! <laughs> Ali, what are you doing? Mm. <laughs> it takes three hours to set up a new iPhone. Tell me about it. I started at half ten last night. It was the dumbest decision ever. Bloody hell. I did it by Wi-Fi in the end and it just did it overnight. Download, yeah, from iCloud. Yeah. Bloody hell. This is gonna be an exciting week. This is basically our final week in London and it is also a sprint planning week. We need to rename our sprint planning weeks because when they're not sprints, it's like a planning week. It's a, it's a retreat, it's a get together, it's a alignment, let's call it alignment week. And it's also our last week in London, so we're in the process of like moving everything out of this house. What are you most excited about? I'm very excited about, firstly, I'm really excited about just getting rid of all my possessions. I feel like I'm so weighed down by all this. It's gonna sound weird, but we get a lot of free stuff and that free stuff weighs, us, <laughs> weighs me down internally. And the fact that we're getting rid of it all is, is like enormously liberating. So I love the idea of just having me in my little suitcase with camera gear and podcast gear and stuff and being able to go literally anywhere in the world at a moment's notice and be able to do videos, do podcasts, do writing. That's the thing. Super excited about that. Also excited about, um, yeah, just the travels. I've been wanting to do the digital nomad thing for years and never really had the chance because stuff, pandemic happened and then like, things happened. Uh, but now it's like, yeah, we can go on the travels. It's gonna be sick. Social media update, one line summary, everything going well, no issues. Great. Twitter, posted posted 14, grew by X followers, up 
10% from last week, or this is roughly average. LinkedIn posted 15 things, saw that carousels performed really well, um, grew, same as average, X percent. Uh, TikTok rap started, new, started with a new agency. They're not very good right now, but meeting with them next week. They've only posted three things and we've grown by five followers. This is not very good. Facebook. Wild Vision are doing really well. We've made 100K in Facebook revenue this month. Wow. The shorts that Becky and Nadia wrote are performing really well across all platforms with roughly 100 to 700K views. This is really good considering previously they were doing 50K. Issues, no time for filming shorts in Ali's calendar. We only have three left to post and we're gonna have to significantly repost things. Also, some people say that when Ali talks about a book, he talks too fast. So let's slow that down. That would be, be my dream social media update. And then I also wanted to just run through like what's happening for the rest of the year. So we've got two more sprints. In terms of stuff happening in the last quarter, there is obviously a lot going on. The main thing being the book uh, and everything is pointing towards the book. Next week, Ali is interviewing Daniel Eck, who is the CEO of Spotify. I think that's also a good point to, to rest on in the fact of Daniel Eck mentioned Ali in one of his all hands meetings. That's again, pretty incredible in the sense of not just I'm not just trying to do this to inflate Ali's ego, but in terms of the actual <laughs> company that, and the, the, the team that we're building, Ali's been invited to Google, Ali was invited to speak with the YouTube CEO like last month. It's like there is a lot of big companies now and big institutions who want to work with Ali and with us. And like we are at an inflection point in the business where the opportunities are starting to come in, which is really exciting. Yeah, no, it's actually That's very good. Yeah. This is going to be our basis for feel good fitness or productive fitness or whatever we call it. What would you like to be celebrating 12 months from now? When we we're back in sprint planning week in the Maldives in September of 2024 and we're doing professional wins from the last 12 months, what are the things that we're celebrating? If you could please open your eyes and once you figure that out and just put down a few bullet points. This is just a very, very, very rough first draft. Very, very rough. This is like, in your ideal professional world, what is happening? What are we celebrating about your specific area of business 12 months from now? How are we doing, team? Very good. Are we excited? Am I looking at the camera or at you? My face is not great today though. Sorry, what moment? Yes, may I ask you to... Okay. Cool. Sam, How's my hair? Yeah. Hey, I'm Becky and I'm Ali's head of social media. My name is Jakub, I'm the CEO of this business. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Jakub, I'm the uh, head of marketing for Ali Abdal. My name is Saf and I am the video guy for Ali Abdal slash head of post-production. Hey everyone, my name is Tintin. I am the YouTube producer on the team. Hey, I'm Amber and I'm Ali's podcast manager. I'm Dan, uh, I look after Ali's website 
as well as like the finance and the legal and a bunch of other general stuff. Here I am, uh, Eddie, and I'm Ali's full-time video editor. Yeah, so it's a big moment for the, the team. Um, it's the first time we've been fully remote for nearly three years. Um, the last time we were fully remote was just me and Ali. I am most excited to get to see some new countries. I'm really, really pumped to get to travel and work. That is like incredible. The fact that I can do all these exciting things, work on the stuff that like super energizes me, while also just doing it kind of in a random cafe in a random part of the world or maybe sat on the beach. Go for a sea swim in the middle of the day, exploring a little bit, and then getting back to work in the afternoon. Um, just having a bit more of like a a slower, more chilled out lifestyle whilst also getting things done. I am nervous about losing some of the fun working in the office. I really, really like working in the office. We all come in, take our shoes off, get the laptops out, do some work, have a little chit chat, maybe order some like delivery for lunch. So things might not run as smoothly as they usually do. And so I think we just need to really like double down on like over communicating with each other and making sure we, we hop on loads and loads of Zoom calls and huddles and everything like that. <laughs> Everyone say bye to the vlog for a little while. Bye uh, vlog. Okay, we're just about to enter the house um, where all of the movies have come to take away most of the bits, so moment of truth. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, hello. It's all gone. It's so empty. Oh my goodness. There's nothing here. It's all literally disappeared. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, let's see what else has gone. This is what used to be our YouTube studio. It is now completely empty. Uh, the cleaners are coming in tomorrow to sort it all out, all out. This is where my desk setup used to be. This is where the gaming desk used to be with the whole walking treadmill. I used to walk over here, do the gaming desk stuff over here. This was the camera setup. We had the overhead, we had the light, we had everything, and it's now completely gone. And this is so exciting. We used to have a desk here, another desk there that Angus and Bob would normally work on. And as we go windy windy around the house, I don't think I've ever done a proper house tour on the channel. This is now what the podcast room looks like. The podcast room used to look like this, and now it's a completely black space. I love it so much. And it feels so liberating to be condensing down to a small number of possessions and saying goodbye to London for the time being. And finally we come to the bedroom. Also now a completely blank slate. I've been sleeping on the floor here for the last few days because it gave a better way. And now it's about just saying goodbye, switching off the lights, putting the cajon in, and saying goodbye. So thank you so much for watching this vlog. Thank you for following the journey. This vlog is still a little bit experimental. I'm not entirely sure if we're gonna be continuing with it. But as always, if you liked the vlog, value from it please do let us know down in the comments below and we will see you hopefully next time leaving london and going to new york so thank you so much for watching have a lovely day goodbye london and goodbye vlog